Today I want to find out how good a top selling projector under $100 actually looks. I also want to compare it to a regular TV even though I know they're different technologies to see how they stack up. So this is the own new brand that I found on Amazon, normally $99.99. But there was a $25 coupon, so I got for about 75 bucks. I was going to get the number one bestseller in the category, but then I saw the comments. A lot of people were saying there's a cable that nobody seems to know what, which cable to get. It wasn't included. I didn't want to mess with that. So this is the number one new release in this category. Doesn't have a lot of ratings, but it seems highly rated. Although Amazon ratings are practically meaningless these days. But let's crack it open and get started. It has a remote. HDMI cable. Some cotton swabs. Some, some RCA cables. We got a lot of cables here. Power cable. Looks like a filter of some sort. The unit itself. It's like a lens cap. A customer satisfaction card. And uh, some decent looking instructions here. Not bad. All right, well. All right, taking a look at the unit itself. Here we've got the focus and the keystone controls here. Here we just have left, right, up, down, and confirm. Uh, we have some buttons here. We have the power button. We have the return button menu and i believe that is the home button for inputs we've got vga usb hdmi trans flash which is basically a micro sd card av and headphones this is where the power cable goes some important information on the label underneath here's the remote pretty basic basic controls here so far the packaging looks pretty good let me uh look these over and then get started all right we've got it set up here we go this is my setup now, one thing I noticed, you can see it's a bit of a trapezoid. They do have a keystone adjustment here, but I've noticed that when I adjust the keystone, what looks square to me, it, it's a little bit out of focus on the edges. So I got to actually have it a little bit distorted for everything to be in focus. But looking at it more closely, I mean, I guess it's pretty well in focus. Pretty well focused, actually. Not bad. It's not the most vibrant colors I've ever seen, but it's not too bad. Here's the settings screen where you have up there blue. Now Bluetooth is a little deceptive. Bluetooth is only for a Bluetooth speaker, not any kind of a screen casting or anything. That's your network information, your picture mode. Just not, not a lot of adjustments you can really make there. Color temperature and noise reduction. Sound mode. You can adjust the, the treble on the bass. This looks like your, your software here. You can actually change the, the projection zoom, but we're gonna leave that as is. I really wanted to do the screen mirror, mirroring, couldn't get it to work. Connected to my Wi-Fi, but it would never connect with my phone. So we're gonna have to just skip this feature. Someone on Amazon said it didn't work, now I believe them. It says we're connected. Just says connecting. Not there. Not there. It's been saying connecting for several minutes. Even though it's connected up there, not showing it down here. Now I've got my laptop right here with my channel on there. And as you can see, we're gonna switch over to HDMI. And there we go. Okay, so we've got the laptop and we've got the projector. Let's get a little closer. You cannot even read that it says YouTube right there. Can you read that? I cannot read that. You can actually see the individual pixels on this. It's pretty pixelated. I mean, look at that. You can see the individual pixels. So definitely not, not vibrant colors. Uh, the, the remote is responsive. I like that about it. Let's play something and see what we got here. Welcome back everything. Back with a weird product called the Toilet Paper Blaster, which is a gun that shoots toilet paper spitballs. Let's see how it works in today's video, starting with the unboxing. My first in, uh, observation is the audio is pretty good. All right, so here's an outdoor shot from my backyard. And there's what it looks like up there. It's definitely kind of washed out looking. Using a projector against the wall might be the easiest way to use it, but it doesn't really give you the highest quality image. So I brought in a screen. I also brought in a 45 inch LG TV and brought that in there and compared the two of them. And here's how that went. Right, I've got the same video paused on both of these screens here. On the bottom is this relatively mid range LG TV from a couple years ago. And then on the top we have our projector. And this time I put it on an actual screen to hopefully increase the quality of the image just a little bit. Now, obviously the one from the projector, the color is a little more dull. It's a little bit more pixelated, actually a lot more pixelated. The LG TV is actually maybe a little bit over oversaturated, but uh, let me play these and see how they actually look. All right, let's take a closer look at these two. Now the, I, the sound on the on the projector is pretty good, so I'm, I don't have complaints about that. Just comparing the two of them, the color is obviously more vibrant. Uh, as you get closer, it, there's a lot more uh, loss of detail on the projector versus the television set, obviously. I do think the screen helped a little bit, but you can still see kind of see the pixelation when you get up close to it. 
Um, the texture wall over here, this was kind of a problematic because you, you had the texture on top of the picture. That, the screen eliminated that. Of course, the screen was 80 bucks. The sound on the TV's better, the pictures on the TV's better. I mean, the, I, I guess I, that's not to be unexpected. But it is nice to see them side by side to see how they actually compare. I think the LG TV in the bottom, I only paid about 300 bucks for. This projector was about 75, the screen was about 75, so I paid about 150, so it's about half the price. Is it half the quality? Probably about so. So it's about half the price and half the quality. On the other hand, the, the projector is more portable, so you could take that anywhere else with you. I should point out with the projector, one of the reasons I put it on a bean bag, it does have a foot down here, but the foot doesn't go up high enough for me to reach where I want to show it, so I actually had to put it on a bean bag on top of the foot that extends. I really had to kind of mess with the focus and the keystone to get this as good as I could. That's, that's as good as I can get it. Is it as good as a TV? No. Is it as good as I can get it? Yes. Now, this would be good for something like presentations though. Does this have a decent enough picture for that? Obviously it's not going to compare to a TV, but for something like a presentation or from watching some TV on the go, we don't have access to a large television, it's not too bad. Certainly better on a screen than on the texture wall, I will say that. Now here is a good use for it. Now I actually put a SD card in here with a couple of movies. You're sitting out back, maybe you want some friends sit around and watch something. Now I wouldn't watch maybe a major sporting event here, but it would be cool for watching some things. We got Bailey here's watching. All right, so we're gonna select the USB trans flash option. We'll select a movie. It shows as a card in there. All right, I have a Timu slicer video. Now that's pretty cool. It's massive, it's like a drive-in movie. The text is kind of hard to read up close. Look at me, I'm huge. But look how big that is compared to me. It's, it's, a, big, it's a big screen. Maybe not the highest resolution in the world, but it is large. Now from back here, it actually looks pretty good. But you know, you can watch uh, other stuff in here. I have another idea, check this out. Go back to the SD card and check this out. I got an old home movie, watch this. Check this out, on my wall from 1989. There he is, there he is, look at that. It's weird seeing this old video projected onto my wall like that, this large too. It's like a drive-in movie theater that I don't, don't want to visit. This is one movie I wouldn't want to pay admission to see. This would definitely be good for something like an outdoor party. I can see myself using it for that. Now this isn't something I'd probably want to watch with a boxing match or a football game or something where you need high resolution, but for an outdoor party, something that's a little bit more less serious, it'd be perfect for that. All right, so in the end, I would say my pros and cons for this projector pretty much apply to most of them. And that is that the picture quality isn't as vibrant or as high quality as a regular television set. The audio isn't really as good and it does require a darkened room to, for optimal viewing. And for even more optimal viewing, you probably wanna pick up a screen. But on the other hand, it's a lot cheaper than a television set and much more portable. You can use them outdoors and they can be stored away easily when not in use. Regular television sets aren't as portable and they're more expensive, but they also look and sound a lot better. This particular model I thought was pretty good, although I never got the screen mirroring to work and other people online had the same problem as I did. But that's all I've got. If you've tried this projector or one like it, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.